Hello, everyone, and welcome to our DN homebrew D and D game. Uh, I am Nightsfall, the DM for this game, um, and our players are in the shit right now. Uh, on our last episode, they discovered a black dragon that they are now fighting in its lair. Um, pray for them; they need it. Um, feel free to use your divine twitch ventions; they will need it. Uh, players cannot use them. <laughs> so, for a quick introduction, we'll go first with the person on directly to the right of me. One half of the dual duo, Damien's, Damien the DM. <laughs> we can't hear them laughing. That's the best part. Can't hear you, Damien. <laughs> Why? That entire time I was just saying why. But <laughs> I'm Damien the DM. I am not the DM this time. I am playing Alex and Urikata, a dragonborn used to be ranger and now druid lock that's going through some shit. <laughs> just like everybody else in this freaking campaign. Absolutely. Next we have our local artist, Jay and Demand. Hey, I'm Jane Demand, aka Days Fall, aka Joey the DM, aka Gay Gamer Joey, aka Dog Cat Gnome. Uh, playing <laughs> Sizen Sahana tonight. <laughs> and not Sizen, I'm playing Ares. You're looking quite distinguished now. You're getting up in the age. You got some uh, gray going there. I like it. I got the gray, I got the glasses because I can't see 10 feet in front of me. I'm working it. You got it. Next, we have Autistic Gamer Sean. Hello, I am Sean. I am playing the cleric Hundir Zurak, who is a minotaur, who apparently tried to play the pray to his god, and it somehow rolled him a two last week. Yes, divine intervention. It will be nice. And oh, you did squat, Sean. I'll remember that. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I had a bunch of channel points. What else was I gonna do? Okay, fair enough. I'll do them. And last but not least, we have Worm Daddy Bitch. Oh, I'm sorry, Wizard Cat Dragon. <laughs> Get him out now. Get him out now. <laughs> All right. So, uh, hey, if Josh... I screw with Damien, I gotta screw with it. I gotta screw with you. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Hi, I'm Josh. I play Miyagi Wormson, the Draconic Lineage Sorcerer, Divination Wizard, who just made a pact with the Celestial, so I'm also a Warlock. I'm the most powerful member of the party. That's why I get targeted a lot. Um, so don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Speaking of targeted, you tar get targeted a lot, yet Elkson takes the most damage. Mm -hmm. yeah. Speaking of targeted a lot, let's take a look at this nice, beautiful line you guys have created for me. So, when we last left off, Hondir, it was your turn right before the dragons. Yes. And you in this utter blackness, can't see anything. Instinctively, your hand goes to your holy symbol. You whisper a desperate prayer. And the scene changes. You see bright, glowing embers of a forge. You hear the pounding of hammer. You look around, you're not in that cavern anymore. You're in a forge. And there's the other Damien. <laughs> hello, hello Damien, <laughs> and thank you to um, Savage Schmucks for another divine Twitch vention that got redeemed. <laughs> All nice. Um, and you hear this hammering, and as you look up, you see him. The All Hammer. Morden. He looks down upon you. You're not tempered enough for my halls. Undear. Your time has not come yet. I know that you feel conflicted. Knowledge your friends have imparted. 
It is true. Within you is part of me. My but Lord. I am. But I, I am still here. Go now and slay that beast. For the rest of you, you all see Hondir's spiritual weapon flare with light and start spinning, spinning, as you see it breaks apart. One of the heads of the hammer breaks and forms into a shield. As both of those items, his spiritual weapon and the shield, fly towards Hondir into his hands. Hondir, check your character sheet for your vestige. You just got it. You're automatically attuned. With the weapon and the shield, they are already on you. (laughs) That's a fucking epic way to get your vestige! Also, the darkness is dispelled instantly. So now I can give you guys vision again. To quote my personal hero, Miranda Priestley from The Devil Wears Prada, looks like someone came to work today. (laughs) 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 Don't die. That was so fucking cool. Oh, God. All right, updating both of y'all's tokens so you can see. Hondir, would you like to explain what your weapon does and your shield? Yes, I have Soul Guard. Embossed with, with the symbol of the All Hammer, this shield is attuned to the Soul Forger. This grants the winner resistance to fire damage. And the knowledge of the forge is bestowed upon the owner, granting expertise in smith tools. And it gives me plus, what is it, plus four armor class? Yep. And additionally, apparently, I get advantage on all charisma based checks with dwarves. Yep. <laughs> and the hammer. The Soul Forge hammer. It can be wielded either one or two handed. It can be thrown at a range of 20 feet to 60 feet. And when I hit the range, when I hit something with it, it'll take damage or extra damage if the target is giant. I can also create a shock wave from this hammer, which can allow me to stun the enemy for one minute, but the enemy can make a con statement for every turn. Oh, it also returns to you when you throw it. Yes. It can return to me if I have my hand open or if I'm halfway. Yes, essentially. If I hit a feeder, I'm done with it. Yeah, I'm on the disruption part. When you hit a fiend or undead with this magic weapon, the creature takes an extra 2d6 damage. If the target has 25 hit points or fewer after taking this damage, it must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be destroyed. On a save, the creature becomes frightened. And it has an ability called Light of the Soul Forge. When you heal someone with a spell, you add your efficiency bonus to the amount healed. If you already add your efficiency modifier due to another feature, it stacks. And I heal myself half of the amount I heal somebody. Yep. Nice. That's a. I think that's a good way to use a divine intervention. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> so. The visuals for that were awesome, dude. Props. Thank you. Now it's the dragon's turn. His wings start to beat as he gains height. As you see. Um, I'm on his back. Can yes. I do sentinel? As a reaction? Um, you can do this, <laughs> but I'm having a hard time seeing how Sentinel would apply to this big of a creature. Oh. Okay. If you could justify it somehow, because again, this thing is gar- this thing is huge. It's not gargantuan, but it is huge. How are you stopping it from flying? Okay, so as its wings like lift up, I'm just gonna grab them and muscle squeeze them. All right, I'll do so, opposed grapple checks then. Got it. Okay. So what would I roll? Uh, athletics. Got it. You gotta be careful though. Just because you say you got something doesn't mean you do. 
That's going to be a 31. Natural 20. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> so, and then I need you to do an acrobatics Ooh. check to stay on him. Because he is flying down here and hitting his breath weapon on Miyagi and your lizard folk friend. Uh, that's a 25 for acrobatics. You're on him. Easily. So I need... Stuff. I need a dexterity saving throw from Miyagi and... Zaxin saves dexterity failed on Zaxin twenty two natural twenty and you I, you saved I, you to absorb elements <laughs> sure you take twelve points of damage which I already put on your character sheet. And let me check something here real quick. Sorry, I just want to check something. I also need to move the dragon. He is now over here. And is 20 feet in the air with Ares on top of him. Ares is just having the ride of a lifetime. That's how Ares do, son. That's how Ares do. Savage Smoke just redeemed one the more Divine Twitch mention and one DM has advantage. Oh, Savage good deal. Team. DM has advantage. I love that. <laughs> Sorry, I just have to take care of one thing here real quick, guys. Sorry for the delay. That's okay. I'm just coming up with more Damien and Damien jokes. Their love is the truth. No! D&D. &D. <laughs> that is good. Why? D&D &D with Damien and Damien. Yes! <laughs> there's, your, there's your new title. <laughs> This does not need to be a consistent thing, y'all. Oh, yeah, it's a consistent hey, thing now. If you take the we A can... and E out, you get Damien AE. <laughs> Alrighty. So, this <laughs> massive beast just strafes down the side, breathes in deeply, and you see a line of acid just go tear through Miyagi and Zaxxon. I'm amazed. Ixpit avoided that. Uh, Ixpit wasn't there. Ixpit's somewhere else. He actually... Um, yeah, last session he actually hit the thing, yep. which was funny. Uh, as you see, Zaxxon is almost dead. Um, so that... Uh, let me pull up the initiative tracker, too, because I need to do that. Yes, we can see whose turn it is. Now it is Ares' turn, and let me unpause the game, too. So seeing this acidy goodness that just took place, because um, I'm in my rage, mm -hmm. I'm going to say, You know her, Kitty! And I'm going to go ahead and grab its wing, and I'm just going to do my three punches on the left wing. My ultimate goal is to weaken it enough where I could just tear the wing off. Interesting. All right, go ahead. All right. First attack. Oh, and I'm going to go reckless. Reckless. Heard. So the first one's going to be a 28 to hit. 28 definitely hits. That'll be for 14 points of uh, damage. 14 points of damage. Alright, next attack. 
Oh crap! I'm not I'm not high enough level. It's a nine, 19 plus ten is twenty nine. But let me do my uh, second roll here. Another nineteen. So twenty nine to hit. Twenty nine definitely hits. I think one more level and that gets to be a, well two more levels and that nineteen would be a crit for me. Mm. Yeah, um, you have like one of those fighter things. Uh, fifteen, bludgeoning. Fifteen hard. Okay. I don't remember. Have I used my um? Action surge yet? You have not. No. I'm an action surge. Action surge it up. All right, let's go ahead and. Uh, Aries is really angry. <laughs> you don't hit my cat friend. Uh, I don't think this is going to hit. That was a 16. Nope, that does not hit. All right, my second strike here. Oh, that was so close to a natural 20. Uh, 24. 24, that hits. All right, for nine damage. Nine damage heard. All right, and then for my uh, bonus action, I'm going to do another unarmed attack. Uh, there's a 20 hit. 20 just hits. Perfect. And that'll be for 13 bludgeoning. 13 heard. And that'll end my go. Alrighty. The end of your turn. It's going to use one of its legendary actions. And it's going to make a grapple check against Zaxxon. It gets a 7. It gets a 7. Alright. Well, let's see how Zaxxon does. He's going to use acrobatics. He gets a 12, so that completes Ares' turn. Elkson, it is your go. I'm going to cast Earthbind. Earthbind, all right. Range of 300 feet, it has to make a strength saving throw. All right, let's do that. Strength saving throw, that's an 11. It's going to use one of its that's legendary a resistance. Fail. It's using its legendary resistance, it passes. Damn it! That was just a okay. little bit too soon. Can I call you uh. Little D? <laughs> <laughs> does that complete your turn? not need to be a consistent thing. I'm looking at my bonus actions. Uh. uh. I want to move closer oh. to Miyagi. Alrighty, you move closer to Miyagi. You can move to about here. And at cool. this point in time, you see coming out of behind a pillar this five foot eight human looking female. And in fact, um, why don't you go ahead and describe yourself? Oh, put me right on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> so, you see a human appearing female, uh, about 5'8", slender, straight, waist length, platinum blonde hair, little braids along the sides, pulled back into a ponytail. Uh, eyes are like a seafoam green and they look like they're glowing. Piercings Ooh. going all the way around my ears. Um, small septum ring, bracelets around my forearms and biceps. Uh, several of my fingers have stacked rings. Um, and there's some other things you might be able to tell, but it depends how close you are and how um, observant you are, I guess. Well, Cor uh, Corey, if it's okay if I call you Corey. Yes, it is. Uh, you have held your action for this round. You have just seen this tabaxi take a massive amount of damage as the dragon strafed by and breathes its acid on him. And you come out from behind the pillar. You're right next to this tabaxi. Uh, you can use your action now um, since you've held your action this round. All right. I can do that. Oh, allow me. You look like you could use a little bit 
of assistance. <laughs> no shit! <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm going to, um, I shall cast Cure Wound, and I'll do it at a fourth level. Fourth level. And it ran, it rolled it. 24 healing. Fuck yeah. Oh. Oh, baby. That's like full health from you. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a bit of a burn. Uh, we do that a lot no, to Miyagi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and at the end of Elkson's turn, the dragon will use another one of its legendary actions to do another grapple on this lizard folk. Let's see. That is. Oof, that's going to be tough to beat. Let's roll his. Nope. All right. So this dragon grabs Question. your lizard folk friend. Yes. Question for you. Um, reading the description of Sentinel, it says when a creature within five feet of you makes an attack against a target other than you, you, you can, can use your reaction to attack, which you can right now. I'm going to. Yes. Going to attack. Yes. Love this. Okay. Aries be like, I punch you. Would reckless still apply? Yes, you're reckless for the entire round. Okay, perfect. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, mm -hmm. I missed. Okay. <laughs> and the dragon flies right over this acid pit. Oh, no. And drops him. Well, he's dead. <laughs> Meowgi, it is your turn. Alright. Shit, okay. Um, my plan just went out the window. Oh, he's dead, dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, along with I his stayed... Along with his wonderful magical items. It's like that stage in Mortal Kombat 2 when you uppercut him into the acid pit. Now it's just the same. Ah, yeah, pit. that fatality was always fun. <laughs> I know what I want to do, but I gotta see if I can do it. And Corey, you're on deck. All right. Yep. Still, still got it. Okay. All right. Quicken spell, fifth level fireball. Okay. Dexterity saving throw, Ares. Oh, there's the two D and D. <laughs> Hello. That's a twenty-four for the dragon. All right. Okay. Uh, nineteen. Gonna... I think it nineteen. All right. Now oh, that's cute. That's shut up. Everybody in the chat there? go. Aww. No. Aww. Yeah. 30 points of damage, so both of them take 15. 15. What's half of 15? It's fire damage. Half of 15 is going to be 7. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Uh, you may go in. Action, as your action, go ahead. Action. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> go ahead. Let me click on it. Fancy dice. Wow. Okay. Show off. <laughs> yes. You see, if you use forge and you do the spells there, it actually has effects. No, he got a natural 20. Oh, yeah, nice. Sure did. And, then, so and I will use the crit. And 17 to hit on the second one. That misses. All right. That's still, that's still good. Still good. Yep. That's my turn. Alrighty, go ahead and make a uh, wisdom saving throw for your fear effect. Save. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. You're feared. You're at disadvantage on all your attacks. So that natural 20 is a 14, which misses. Fuck. Yeah, you're right. Okay. 
Yeah. So you gotta make your wisdom saving throw. Oh. For every dream, uh, Knights Fall assassinates an angel gets their wings. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Seventeen is just enough. You are no longer frightened. Woo! All right. Does that complete your turn? Yes. For the dragon's turn, uh, legendary action. He drops into the acid. I don't like this. Oh no! <laughs> Ares, do you do anything? Um, yes, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to leap off. See, you could, but you already used your reaction. And I'm gonna hold on tight and <laughs> take this highway straight to hell. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll give you an acrobatics check to see if you can get out okay. in time or if not this is going to be bad for you that's going to be a 24 24 yes you can jump off and you just make it onto land I do an angry grunt let me remove this combatant Corey it is your turn Ah, uh, I am going to use my action to uh, my wild shape feature and take the archer constellation. You see Corey oh. just start to move her hand in, in a specific manner. As her form starts to become translucent, and you see stars within her. She's like her own galaxy. Sorry, go ahead. And for my bonus action, I'm going to hurl my loot arrow. But that would have to actually hit. Earth. Yes. Still got to roll to hit first. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get a chance to do that. All right, go. All right. Natural 20 plus my 11, so 31 to hit. 31 hits. Yeah, Lord. yeah, 31 will hit. Just barely. <laughs> yeah, barely. <laughs> wow. Right, so... Well, I rolled a 15, but since I got a nat 20, it's double, right? Uh, the dice are doubled, yes. So okay. it would be 25 because you rolled an 8 and a 2, it All looks right. like. Minus 25. That hurt. All right. Does that complete your turn? That does complete my turn. Dragon is out of legendary actions right now, so... Hondir, it is your turn. Getting over the shock of what Hondir just saw. <laughs> is, is the dragon visible at all? The dragon is visible. He's actually no longer 20 feet up. He is actually probably minus 10 feet. It should be so... minus... That would mean doing measurements 15 feet technically, or would you say more so 35? Yeah, 35. 35. And if I move here, do I have to roll anything? Because like you were saying stuff about going over crack. Uh, no, you'll be able to make it there. That's fine. Okay, I'll so move. I'm going to move here. Okay. All right, so I look at the hammer I have. Uh, Got to remember how to do this on Fountain every single time because I'm dumb. No, you're not. You? Yes, I am. I'm going to throw a soul no, forge at it. All right, roll. 11. 11 does not hit. So I let it come back to me in my hand. You all see this hammer. That used to be the spiritual weapon. Your spiritual weapon is still up there, by the way. Fly out 
almost directly into the acid pit before it just unerringly comes back to Hondir's hand. Uh, I'm going to check range of movement for spiritual weapon real quick because I believe it has a limit. 20 feet. Yeah, so I can't make it touch the dragon. However, uh, do, do, do. I'm debating if I want to do that, though. Because I can't... I don't have control of my spiritual weapon, do I? Yes, you do. You should. Oh, I do. If you can't, just... Uh, I can move it for you. Alright, let me measure out 20 feet. That's uh, about 20. For yeah. So, And that is my bonus action. Yep. Okay, that completes my turn. Alright, on your I turn. Gotta get used to this thing. The dragon roars. You dare! As he flaps his wings and flies over and attempts to grapple Miyagi. Miyagi, go and do an acrobatics or athletics check. Can I use my little wing thing to help with this at all? Uh, what does your wing thing do again? It adds to their AC usually. Nope, it's a contested it roll. Damn. I already used my reaction meow, yeah, otherwise I would have helped. Yeah, that's fine. I got a 19. I got a 13. You are grasped within the dragon's claws, and he just beats his wings and flies up 60 feet. No, 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 no. Uh, is that... Was that an ability check? Or yes, it was. Anything? Okay, then let me see if I can assist. He would need an additional six. Then I need to be perfect. <laughs> and it is not. <laughs> that Sorry. is not. <laughs> so you got a plus <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had advantage the dragon drops you uh, <laughs> hold up I don't have feather fall how far away how, how long would it take me to hit the ground what Six rounds? Seconds. Actually, you know what? I'm going to backtrack that. He's not going to drop you yet. Okay. Because you just fall on the stone. He doesn't want that. Ares, it is your turn. Okay, so paint me a picture because I am limited to my cell phone screen as far as battle map visibility goes. Okay, um, it is 60 extra feet in the air. Okay. And I am how many feet away? You are 10 feet away plus 60 feet up. Is there any... There's really no way I could reach them, can I? Physically, no, unless you can fly. Well, let's, let's take a look at the old inventory. Let's see what I got. And Alexin, you're on deck. Yeah. Figuring out what I'm doing. So I got a whole bunch of nothing here. And I, I suppose that I can't jump 60 feet in the air with my impressive physique. No, that's a, I, I'd give you a, a straight jump up. I'm sure there's rules for it, but I would give you at most 20 feet. You do have some hops, but. Is there a giant rock I could pick up and chuck? I would say yes, you could find a rock to chuck. <laughs> okay. You're not proficient going... in rock, so. Um, I feel like I'm proficient in everything, but, um, okay, let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my action. Um, the second that thing lets go of Miyagi, I'm going to leap and try to protect him from falling into the acid. Okay. You do know that if you do not get attacked or you attack this round, you drop your rage. Okay, so I'm going to... Sorry, Miyagi. However, you do have multiple rages. You could rage again. 
Yeah, but that takes a whole bonus action. I'm not trying to do that. I'm going to pick up the rock and throw it. Okay. <laughs> Roll it. <laughs> Just your strength modifier. D20 plus strength modifier. Got it. Crap. Actually, it would be dexterity modifier, really, but I'll let you use strength. So I think your strength is it? higher. Can I do it reckless? Sure. Good, because that sucked. Let's try this again. Uh, it's funny and content, too. Oh, sorry, that rock goes sailing. It's going to be 15. Does right, that complete so your gonna, turn? I'm going to move to where... No, I'm going to stay where I'm at. That's the end of my turn. Okay. At the end of your turn, the dragon uses one of its legendary actions to fly. Oh, no. There. And we'll drop Meowgi. No! Sorry, Meowgi. This dragon just really wants you dead. He's going for the lowest hit point member of the party right now. Meowgi. Featherfall, bitch. Featherfall. Featherfall. So you're feather falling into a big <laughs> lake of acid. Yeah. Okay, I will say that you will not Let's see, 60 feet, uh, and you fall at how? How slow? What's the range on Featherfall? I'm not sure. I would have to look that up. 60 feet. Am I within 60 feet of Miyagi? Uh, no. It, def it, it descends to 60 feet per round. Okay, so at the... When the Black Dragon's turn comes again, you'll be in the acid. Elkson, it is your turn. I don't really wish I could help. Uh, I, I can't do anything with a flying speed. I... <laughs> I do have, wow, there's two Divine Twitch mentions I gotta do. Alright, how do I do hey. Use Divine Intervention. <laughs> hey, that's my stick! <laughs> <laughs> and I can't use it again for seven days! Uh, uh, Did the dragon just put a wrench in your plants? A little bit. Uh. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I think I got an idea. I've got an idea. We got a couple. <laughs> I got nothing. As you see, Xpit is flying towards you. Towards me. That's my boy. Towards me, Okay. Uh, what is, um, yeah, none of my wild shapes can help. I just gotta go for trying to take the thing down. So, uh, fuck it, firebolt. Roll it. Dogs. God damn it, that one. Let's see, do you hit Dice me out jail. here or not? No, I'm not going to be that. No, you're not going to hit me out here. Does that complete uh, your turn? Uh, yeah. Okay. Mark one of the Divine Twitch Ventions off. Heard. As Ixpit is flying towards me out here, you hear. You will not hurt the master! <laughs> As you see Ixbit grow in size. Grows. Okay, that's new. And grows. And hold on, I have to import him now. <gasps> what? <laughs> what is going on? This isn't even my final form! <laughs> Hmm. 
now known as Xbitachu. Xbitachu, use Thunderbolt. <laughs> oh, fucking Pit Fiend? What? <laughs> what? That's my boy. As That's he grabs you just as you're about to hit the acid. Mm. Remind me to free the next demon we come across. <laughs> <laughs> right? It seems to be working in our favor so far. So far. Meowgi, it is your turn. You are nestled in the bulging arms of of a massive demon. Oh dear. Um. Shit. I'm still under the effects of Featherfall, right? You are, but you're in his hands and he's beating his own wings. Uh, how far? How far up would I be? I would say 40 feet up. 40 feet up? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, would you please get me back to land? <laughs> yes, son of Kairos. Now. The fuck? Fuck. That's away. everyone's thoughts right now. <laughs> Can I throw a fireball at this dragon? Can I throw a fireball? Sure. All right. Fireball the dragon. What could go wrong? Everything. This is Meowki. I'm gonna transmute it into. Let's do ice. I should use a third level. So it's a dex save on the dragon, please? You got it. Dexterity saving throw of a nine. It fails, so it takes 25 ice damage. <laughs> It'll take that damage. Does that complete your turn? Am I just still flying in the air? Or did he set me on the ground? He set you on the ground. Okay. Uh, could you please fuck up this dragon? <laughs> and that'll be my turn. As you see the flames around him whirl again, and he is back to expit. Short-lived. He went Super Saiyan, guys. He did. That was one of your divine That's an understatement. At the end of your turn... Let's see. The dragon is going to move forward. And he's going to go down. He's going to be 10 feet from the ground. And is going to make a claw attack against Elkson. Let's see. Expect kind of makes a little, little uh, lackluster. 28 to hit. Get yeah, that fucking hits. <laughs> <laughs> 17 slashing damage. Yeah, that's not the worst. <laughs> now I can only get one attack on a legendary action, so. Corey, it is your turn. Okie dokie. Um. How far away is it from me? Five feet away and then ten feet up. Okay. Fifteen. Alrighty. Okay. So uh... I'm going to <laughs> I believe I shall cast Guiding Bolt. 
and I will do it at fifth level. Nice. And I, and I will say it is about damn time Damien got a partner that actually looks at them like that. Wowie yowie. 22 definitely hits. <laughs> Emotional damage. Um, how does your guiding bolt look? It kind of looks like, you know, sparklers. Like, it looks like it would be like, oh, isn't that cute? Till it comes and fucks you up. As you see these lines of sparklers strike the dragon uh, into a, already his damaged wing that Ares did damage. You hear it roar out, and you see the lines in between his scales have a bit of a sparkle that happens. It just flares out. The next attack on it has advantage, and it takes 27 yeah. radiant damage. And also, for my bonus action, I will uh, use my Dariform Archer attack. So 18, 18 does, not, does hit. not hit. Does not hit. Right. Just misses. The armor class is 19. Was that with advantage? Uh, let's see. Oh, um, you do get advantage on it, so roll again. The next attack has advantage. Yeah. Good job. Oh, come on. <laughs> no. Nope. Uh, does not help at all. But hold on just a second. Let's see. Um. I can. So for my first one that I miss, I can use my cosmic mm -hmm. omen. Okay. Well, then that will hit. If you roll one, it will. Though so that's as low as I can go. So there's a three. So and then I'll roll the damage. Okay. If you just click over on, if you're on Forge, you can see your 18, and right below that says Roll Damages. You can just click that, and it will roll it. Oh, okay. Let's see. I don't oh, yeah, didn't this psychic bot? It. No, not this. It was D&D Beyond that got bought by Wizards of the Coast. Yes, D&D yeah. Beyond did, yeah. which is awesome. I don't see that. Yes, it is. Uh, if you don't see it, you can just roll it on D&D Beyond. That's fine. So there's an extra 10 damage to it. 10 damage, heard. Does that complete your turn? Funsies. Uh, yeah. All okay. right. Action and bonus, so. At the end of your turn, the dragon will use its last two legendary actions to do a wing attack. Where is it at here? Here we go. I need a dexterity saving throw from Corey and... From Elkson. Nine. You take ten. ten. You both take ten damage and are knocked prone. So I can find the prone icon here. There it is. And then it can move half its flight speed, so it's going to move there. All right. Is that now it is Hundir's turn. So, do do do. So I would roll with disadvantage if I were to throw the hammer again, since it's 55 technically, right? Correct. Okay, so I'm going to move... Oh, wrong tool? I believe i got to click this one. Oh, and I also have to check on its breath weapon. So I'm going to move here. Yes. Get its breath weapon back. And I was here, so that was 15 feet. I can move another 15. Which I'll do. 
Uh, first thing first, though. Target Elksin, and I am going to be using Healing Word at third level. Third level, nice. Now, with my with this with the Soul Forge Hammer, does the bonus automatically roll, or do I have to roll my proficiency again on it? Well, you wouldn't roll your proficiency; you just have to add it again. Add your proficiency bonus. Yeah. It doesn't automatically do it, unfortunately. Okay, yeah, that's what I that's what I meant. Wording yeah. is hard. Yeah, I can't uh, I can't code that into it, unfortunately. So that's eleven plus uh, do, do, do. Should it's be not a, plus nine, right? Plus four. Plus four. So fifteen to Elkson? And I haven't taken damage yet, so I don't get the healing benefits. All right, and then for your action? Uh, well, we used the Guiding Bolt with advantage already, yeah? Yep. Technically. Yep, All right, here we used. go. Let's throw it again and see if we can do it. Sixteen. That's a 16. Nope. You only need to roll a little bit higher. You got to roll above a 10. You have to roll like a 12 or higher, I think. Well, I keep rolling. Well, I rolled a nine. Does that complete your turn? I believe that does, because I moved my full 30 feet already. The dragon's turn. As you see him flapping in the air, turns around and does a strafing run, breathing his acid on Hondir and Elksin. We're ending his flight here. I need, I need need a dexterity saving throw from Elksin and from Hondir. I rolled I rolled two threes. Ooh. I rolled a five. You both Ow. take sixty nine damage. Oh, I am still damn. alive. <laughs> Ow, that hurt a lot. Ares, it is your turn. How far away is this guy from me? He is, let's see. <laughs> 35 feet and then 10 feet in the air. Can I run the 35 feet and then do a leap and try to grab onto him again? Um, From where you're at, um, you would have to go let's see 10 feet there and what's your speed i think your speed is more than 30 right now right it's 40. you have just enough to do that all right i'm gonna go ahead and try to grapple on him again all right first roll me an athletics check for your jump and then you're going to do contested athletics rolls. All right. 29 for the jump. Easily done. You jump up and grab him by his only good front claw. Because you remember, he's missing a hand. And right, now roll. And, mm -hmm. and okay. what's your athletics for your... I haven't rolled them yet. Can I do this reckless or is that only for attacks? Um, it's, I'm going to go ahead, I'll use the other Divine Switch Vention and give you super advantage. You can roll three times. Nice. Okay. And I'm going to give myself disadvantage so I do not get the natural 20 I just rolled. <laughs> that's a good use of Divine Twitch Vention, I think. Yep, that's oh Mark up. These were terrible. The highest I got was a 25. 25 beats my 17. I had disadvantage. Nice. You are grappled onto his claw right now. You two are so cute. All right, and then I think Aww. that is it for my turn. Hey, Damien, you deserve it. That's all I'm going to say. You deserve it. All right. Um, the dragon will do an attack, use its legendary action to swap his tail at you, Ares. Okay. It's going to be a 16 to hit. That's my armor class. Oh, then that's 19 bludgeoning damage. Uh, is that already halved, or do I have to have No. That? 
Uh, that it's not half, so you lose nine. Nine. Hmm. Alkson, you are up. Miyagi's on deck. All right, I forgot to say the hellish rebuke from last time. I'll go ahead and let you do that. Okay. Uh, So it's a dexterity saving throw. All righty. That's a 13. That's a fail. Yay. That is 18, 18 fire damage. All right. He is below triple digits, y'all. Ay, ay, Um, And then... Where am you I? are prone right now. Right. Um... We're all in lines, but there's not a lot I can do about that. Uh, Ares is uh, actually on him. Okay. Ares is going for another dragon ride. <laughs> <laughs> How far away am I from the dragon? You are exactly Joey. 15 feet away, and then he's 10 feet up in the air. That's a fun art idea for Joey. Ares riding the dragon like a cowboy. Yes. All right, I'm going to use... I'm going to use half my movement speed to get up. Bonus action, wild shape, shape into a saber tooth tiger. And right. go ahead and use the uh, pounce attack. Because we, giant kitty. It SM, we, uh, flying cat. <laughs> uh, it has to... Uh, uh, I got to roll to hit it for claw attack. And then it will have to make a... Strength saving throw. All right. If I hit it, do not roll one. Do not roll one. (laughs) No, not a one. But because you would have overshot and landed in the acid. Uh, what did you roll? Eleven. I missed. Alrighty, you fall back down on all fours. Does that complete your turn? Yes. All right, uh, the dragon will use its uh, legendary action because it's getting kind of annoyed at this hulking Goliath that is s- refusing to get off of him and will fly into the big pit. Reaction, Sentinel. I'm Do gonna it. Punch it in its throat. Go for it. <laughs> Ares, be like, stop breathing. That is a dirty 20. That hits. I'm going to say you punching in its throat will stop its movement. And that'll be for 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Alrighty. Miyagi. Here we go. Okay. Um, I had a plan. I had a plan, but now I don't. You see, Ixpit was this massive, hulking beast of a demon as he just falls down to the ground as his imp form again and is passed out. Okay. He lost of his energy to save you. That's so sweet. That's almost like Damien coming on stream to support Damien. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to position myself to where... How did you turn that on me? Because he can't... Guys, it's Joey. It's my skill. I want to position myself to where I'm basically standing over Xpit. Okay. I'm just gonna move in. And then fuck it. I'm gonna do Ah fuck it. Yep. Last of my sorcery points. Quick and spell fireball. All right, dexterity saving throw, Aries. Okay, no problem. The 21 for the dragon. Alrighty. Oh, those are both bad. I got a five. So 27 damage, half to 13. 
Right, so yep. Well, do you take half damage from fire? I take half damage from everything except psychic. Okay, that works then. Incoming then... From mind flares. <laughs> Main action. When I'm not raged, I get I, mean, I get a resistance to psychic. <laughs> All right, roll your elders blast. Terrible. That does. I'm you see friends. this beam of purple and silver energy strike bouncing off the scales right next to where Ares' head is. Sorry! And then the next one's 18. I get. I bet that misses. That misses. Uh, yep, so I miss. Alright, at the end of your turn, the dragon's going to use its last legendary action to move. And that's it. He's going... Well, he may drop. I don't know. We'll see. Corey, it is your turn. Hondir is on deck. All right. So. I am... Let's see. I'm trying to figure out who... How far away are most of my party members? Uh, well, you have this uh, white dragonborn that turned into a saber tooth tiger is about twenty feet away. Hundred, well, yeah, okay. you're doing it now. You can see uh, right. twenty five or twenty here, fifteen to Hundir, fifteen's Miyagi. Okay, cool. So and basically, you, everybody's within sixty feet of me. Uh, everybody may. Let's see if Aries is. Yes, Aries is Aries within forty five. Yep. You are still prone, though. Okay. Well, I'll use you know, my movement or whatever to get up. All right, half your movement, and you're standing up again? Yep. And I'm going to cast uh, Mass Cure Wound. Nice. That was oddly going to be my plan. 22. 22. 22 healing, everyone. And then I will use my... Spectacular little bonus action against the dragon. Oh, and just for clarification, you do not heal the dragon, correct? Oh, no, I don't want to heal okay. that. I'm just making no. sure. <laughs> just making sure. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm nice, but I'm not that damn nice. I mean, he did uh, just murder your friend, so. I mean, so yeah, exactly. Not feeling particularly generous to him. Ares, you healed 20, 22. Oh, nice. From a mass cure wounds from your starry druid friend that just showed so up. With my, so with my resistance, that's 12. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Technically 11. <laughs> if we're getting technical, Mr. Okay. All right. So then, um, 18. Just misses. Just, okay, then I will use my, my, uh, another your wheel. wheel. All right, that's your reaction. All right, and go ahead and roll your damage. All right. Do good damage. Nine. Nine. All right. I did crap damage. Hondir, it is your turn. Dragon's out of legendary actions, damn it. All right, so... Oh, I got to add uh, stuff on Hondir thing on Foundry and not d, &D Beyond because I healed. Because I'm trying to remember stuff, and I'm not exactly the best at that with Foundry. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, actually, Nitro, can you add 22 to Hondir for me? You got it. Thank you. 
Oh, that's needed because so you're at four hit points. I was. So if I move 30 feet here, because I got an idea. So I can move here, right? Yep. Okay. And it is currently 30 feet. So I would have this advantage if I threw the hammer again, but that hasn't exactly been working out now, has it? Hey, there's always the... Gotta could, hit sometime, right? You could roll two <laughs> natural 20s. You don't know. If you can get a two on divine intervention, you can get a 20 on a hammer strike. I'm thinking either hammer strike or guiding bolt. Guiding bolt I'm helps your friends. If I hit it, which I feel like I'm more likely to do. Yeah, screw it. I'm going to go for the gusto. Because what can go wrong? I'm going to use Guiding Bolt if I can find it. Because I don't remember what the base spell auto. Oh, here it is. The real question at fifth level. Go for it. That is 17. Damn it. Does not hit, unfortunately. Well, that is a bummer. Does that complete that you? Complete my... Yes, because I used a level spell already. On the dragon's turn, he drops into the acid and submerges. I am holding on. Okay. You are going to take 4d10 damage. Okay. That's 20. Oh. Not halved. I have resistance to it, though. I know. I It's not halved right now, so that oh. would be 10. Oh, okay. I thought you were telling me I could, and I was going to... Oh, no, you can. Well-prepared argument for you. <laughs> and it is swimming through caverns. I will need two ac athletics checks from you. You got it. So hold on. Okay. So close. Will a 19 do it? 19 will do it for one. Okay, and then for the second, a 29. 29 will do it. <laughs> Ares is just the bravest out of all of us at this point. Yeah. And it is your turn. You will take another 40 10 at the start of your turn. It's 22, not halved, so 11. Holy shit. I am going to get to punching. Go for it. Nightfall. Uh, what round number are we on? Round number five. Okay. I'm just double checking because spiritual weapon is still out. Yep. You have until round ten. And I, I believe am... they okay. Because I can't see the initiative tracker. I am this recklessly. The first hit will be a twenty nine. That hits. For 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Nice. Second hit. The dragon starts to rage. I'm sorry. It's finally not. a natural fucking 20. Well, I don't think it's going to matter. <laughs> Let's see that damage. Uh, Could have been better. Uh, 15 points of bludgeoning. Okay. Oh. And... Okay, and then bonus action, uh, another hammer hit for another nat 20. Let's do this again. Why? Oh, yeah. Roll that Damn. damage. This time, give me some good fucking numbers. Better. 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Is that it? Unfortunately, I have no more moves. The dragon <laughs> is roaring under the water. Um, as... Ares, you see it's trying to go deeper into another small cavern. Fentanyl. Roll it. Oh, that was almost another net 20. 28. That hits. Ares is secretly a JoJo pro tag. Uh, I'm convinced. Point, 15 points bludgeoning damage. How do you want to do this? 
<laughs> oh, oh, no. No. I'm holding on to its claw, right? And I feel like it gets into my face and it gives me like a mighty roar. And I roar back and grab its neck and just snap it. <laughs> you all can hear a sickening snap from under this acid. And then it's quiet. And then I'm going to oh, take no. this... Uh, I'm going to take these final moments while I still have some hit points left. And I'm going to try to pull one of its fangs out as proof that I killed it and then swim up. All right. You're going to take 38 points of damage. That's not halved. Okay. So while you're doing this. 19. <laughs> 19. Yep. Thank you, guys. See, it's about damn time, Damien. You got somebody who's there for you. <laughs> You found you the D two. <laughs> We're just trying to get you. Oh, we gotta... <laughs> We're trying to get you the hey, same hey. shade of your hair. <laughs> That'd be funny. They're getting there. They're getting there. It definitely yeah. looks like it. Go ahead and roll me a athletics check for me, Aries. Sure. Yes. That's going to be a thirty-one. You rip off a nice fang. All right, I'm going to swim back to the surface. You are going to take another 24 damage. 12. 12. All right. As you are burning up. I would like to, with a little bit of dramatic flair, kind of leap from the water and do kind of like a Superman landing, like on one knee. Go for <laughs> it. That's fine. And let's go to our theater of the mind. Oh, but we have to show our new player. And there we are. All right, you never use you never use DM has advantage, so you can keep that in your back pocket. Oh, I will. I will. <laughs> and on that note, we're going to take a quick 5-minute break. So my players can get a drink. Get up, stretch for a little bit. We will be right back Ooh. with whatever happens. See you soon.
heard us this whole time. We are back, and uh, we will. I will be fixing this camera so it's actually on the right person now. Yes, he's back. So what I'm. Up, not much. We're back. Well, now I'm back. We're live. Yes, we are live. I am I fix have- fixing this camera. Alrighty. So now that we are back, we're gonna just wait just for a moment until we get um, Corey back. And I need to update this dragon horde that I'm sure you're going to be searching for. Oh, definitely. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a shame he's been asleep and he hasn't gotten a horde. <laughs> so, tell me, I what did you all... Anything he's got is really old. What did you all think of that fight? It was intense. I'm not... It was intense. Holy shit. My role sucked. I was so... saying how Elkson was fucking terrified because... When Miyagi was falling, she couldn't do shit to save him. I, I had two plans. I had two plans. I was going to feather fall and miss you step a couple times. <laughs> I'm sure y'all, said, y'all noticed I was measuring. I was like, where's the closest piece of land? <laughs> I feel now that Ares has spent a little bit of time with Miyagi, he realized he did not ask for nearly enough. Because protecting the algae is a full-time job. <laughs> to be fair, Ares didn't actually tell us what he was getting paid. Yeah. Well, technically, you could ask for ask for more. We don't know what Cezanne offered you. Oh, 250 gold. <laughs> well, technically, we don't know that. According to the letter, it just says we have to pay you. I actually completely made up a price. I think it was originally supposed to be like five gold. <laughs> well, now you can ask for more. Well, Suzanne would shortchange him, of course. But yeah. Suzanne's not here. Yeah. All right, so we are back live. I apologize for the break screen being just black. Um, I had to move a drive around, and that's where I stored the our break scene, so I will be fixing that shortly. Okay. Oh no, there's two Damians. Which one is the real one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it, it's that one. It's that one. It's that one, yeah. All right. So, you all see Ares jump out of the acid, land down on one knee, skin is burning, Breathing heavy, and in his hand, he holds one large fang. I'm breathing heavy, All right. and then go I go, and then as my uh, as my rage fades away, and I kind of transform back to normal, I go, <sighs> "See, piece of cake. Eddie's the strong man performs again." Uh, I'm good. So as the tiger, Elkson's just gonna wander over to Miyogi and kind of, like, clearly trying to see if he's okay. I'm gonna go over to the stranger real quick, while Elkson's doing what she's doing. So, so everybody's ignoring Ares? <laughs> I'm like, but I killed drag- okay. <laughs> Ares, come over here and get healing, for Pete's sake. I go over and I get healed. <laughs> Uh, hang on, let me target you real quick. Uh, did you do spells? Um, I think I can use cure wounds on you. It should be fine. And I heal for half of it anyway. If I can, I just gotta pick it again. Foundry's got a lot of stuff, so. Mm-hmm. There it is. I will use cure wounds on Ares at fourth level and use my last fourth level spell slot. That is 25 plus, what was it? 
plus two, we said? Four. Or plus four. Plus four, so 29 hit points to Ares, and Hundir heals for an extra 40. Nice. Well, that's new. Somehow healing you healed my wounds. That is very awesome. I also love the, the hammer and the shield and the way that your brown fur has now turned a nice shade of gold and flows in the wind for some reason. There's no wind in the <laughs> Here we are with the flowing hair. <laughs> we lost the Hydra, but... No, oh, you still got to... We lost a stream. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. It's my apologies. Yep, you still got to do that, so the cameras will be right. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty. There we go. Oh. oh. I thought you meant the actual stream. No, <laughs> oh, no. I was like... My brilliance was, like, was wasted. I was like, I <laughs> broke it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I don't think he would believe me, Ares, but I saw him. I saw my god. You saw your god. That is excellent news. And my weapon. That's what this is. And I pointed a floating spiritual weapon over there. It turned into this. Your god turned into that weapon? And I bowed no. <laughs> no, 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 Ares. He bestowed this upon me. That makes a lot more he... sense. I have to get used to it, but... Oh, I apologize. Um, As I look over to the stranger. Thank you uh, for your help. I'm surprised we didn't Thank see you, you on the way here. Um, well, I think you... Um... I've been I was almost ready to leave this dragon responsible for killing the rest of my party. And I couldn't take it on by myself. I was just about to leave when you guys came. So, so I'm guessing the magi I sent you too long ago or some sorts. What's that? You got sent here too, didn't you? Uh <sighs> Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Did the one-armed men get you, trick you into getting potato to feed the dragon that make dragon ten times stronger than you need to be? Because that's what he uh, did to these three. I have no You're idea what that. any of that is. Magic Sorry. potato in the woods. You, you give it to dragon and dragon go, ha ha, I trick you, and he gets all big. No. <laughs> That's How long have you? you... <laughs> it sounds like you've been here longer than us, though. I'm Hondir, uh, by the way. Oh, I'm Corisha. You can call me Cory. Very well, Cory. This, as you, as I point to Ares, this is Ares. He just recently joined our group. Yes, I am strong man of forest, and these are my impressive biceps, Damien and Damien. <laughs> As Damien hides off camera. You mean like D and D? D and yes. D. Yes. This is the dungeon, and this is the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that that's, too was the dragon. That's Ares pretty cool. Gets I never thought about naming my monster. But... Ares gets inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. You get to name your muscles. Yes, yes. Very impressive feat. <laughs> hmm. But we I still cannot have turn one. into I cannot turn into starry constellation. That is impressive as well. Yeah, that's something. I mean it is pretty nice. It's something that I've just kind of was recently able to do. I mean, I was impressed when Elks and turned into Wolf, but this is, that's a harder trick compared to Constellation. <laughs> um, I'm Elks actually going to change just my, a bit. <laughs> I'm going to change my starry form right now to the Chalice. And I will, um, I see you're still looking kind of a little bit hurt, huh? You see... I mean, mm -hmm. The galaxy within Cory swirl and shift a little bit as the stars are in constant movement. And when they stop, 
there are, it's a completely different scene. So Whoa. you're you're not looking too great. I mean, you still look kind of hurt. That acid looks pretty nasty. I so. agree. Not a, I am not the You are healed for twenty plus. Back to my other screen. So you get twenty points of healing, Aries mm -hmm. plus. Nice. Um, let's see. Another eight. So you get twenty-eight. Awesome. I am almost back to full hit points. This whole time that they've all been conversating, uh Miyagi has just been like petting Hoxon with <laughs> holding Ixbit in one arm, his other arm free, just feeling like, it. It's okay. You you did great. You don't need to bare your teeth anymore. We're safe. You We're see, cool. Xpit is barely breathing. I'm kind of going to pop back into her regular form and look at Xpit and be like, "You gonna be okay?" Noticing that he's barely breathing, he's going to stop. Petting Elkson, especially now that they are back in their dragonborn <laughs> form, and a soft glow radiates from his hand, and he's going to place it on Ixpin's chest and cast Cure Wounds at fourth level. You see, your magic fails to make contact with him. Hey. Hey. Is mine. He's what? He's you don't what? hear that. He is no, you cut mine. Out. Also, you cut out. None of us heard that. <laughs> yes. So, because so, I'm the master of having voices in my head, was that Kyrus or was that somebody else? That was Warm Daddy. Okay. I will save him for you. If it's magic. you ask. Is your magic working, Miyagi? Yeah, let me see. And I'm not breaking eye contact with uh, Xpit or like looking at Xpit. I'm just going to reach out and cast Cure Wind's fourth level on Oxen. It works. Uh, so you get 19 hit points back. Thank you. Okay. How come he isn't getting better then? Do you want me to ask Leandra? Um, Miyagi's going to set Xfit down. And as you set him down, you start to see black veins running across his body. To sigh quickly. Audibly, as in not, like, not in my head, he's not yours, leave him the fuck alone. There we go. You see Ixbit scream out in pain. And is still. Absolutely kind of kneel over at him. Do I need to do a medicine check? See? You need to do a medicine check. And, and Meowgi's just like... He's just That's a 23. Nothing that seems that... It's not natural whatever's happening to him. You're, you're certain of that. 
And what is Miyagi doing? He's watching in horror. He's because I imagine Ix that's like screaming, sort of like writhing in pain. Yes, and I am. Uh, I'm making sure you guys do not have the. I'm blessing you guys so you don't have to hear that right now out of my voice and Nick Smith's huh. voice. Okay. Is, with the oh, medicine yeah. is there anything I can do to help him? Unfortunately, no. Nothing that you know of. Even my magic, like any magical healing or. You can try, but you did see Miyagi try to do magical healing. Um, you know, he's gonna clutch his amulet of Bahamut and just start like praying. Just, please, please, if you're gonna save him, Lady Leandra, what should we do? You don't hear a reply right away. What you do know is normal. You don't always hear a reply all the time. Yeah. All you have to do is ask. This whole time, Miyagi is just praying. He is just trying to commune with Bahamut. No, 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 no. It can't be like this. It can't be like this. Very well. As you see, Expit's tail is starting to turn black. No, 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 no. I'm sort of kind of like hold on to him. There has to be something. Uh. Would the rest of us know what's going on, or are we kind of off having a conversation that we can't? Well, hear? you can hear. You heard Miyagi yell that, ah. so you definitely know something's going on. I'll head over there. Me too. Hmm. No, 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 no. Little Kitty, what is going on? I'm going over Something's too. Something's wrong with Expit. No, 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 Any no, no. guesses to one? It's not. It's not right. Healing magic isn't working. Nothing's working. One of the leg is turning black. If none of our healing magic is working, I don't think we want him to suffer anymore. Don't say that. There has to be as something that we can do. As Han Deer says that, Miyagi's going to stand over him. No. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Expert, come can on. I, can come I on. try something? Can I try something? I don't know if it'll work, but I'm no, willing just to try. Turn, so I'm holding Expert towards her. I'll cast lesser, lesser restoration. You see, some of the blackness recedes for a moment, but then it shoots back up. No, 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 not yet, not um, yet, not yet. Hmm. And the tail at this point looks like it's getting shriveled up as if all moisture is being ripped out of him. Lady uh, Landra, please. I'm pumping cure wounds. I know it's not doing anything, but. Nope. Um, I have oh, one thing I could try. I don't know if it is what it is, though. Before you try that, one more thing is going to happen. And you hear in your head, Are you so prideful that you will let him die rather than ask your blood for help? You are more like me than I thought. Upon hearing that, I am just going to place my gauntleted hand 
on Xbit. And is this gonna sound weird? But is there any way I can pump sorcery points through the gauntlet into, or my charges even, into Xbit? Hmm. Give me an arcana check with disadvantage. Twenty-one is my lowest. You can start the process at this point. Hondir, what were you going to do now? I don't know if it's a curse that's affecting him. But can I even target expert technically on Foundry? I can. Yes. Uh, spells, because I still have a third level spell slot. Remove curse at third level? Sure, you can do that if you like. I'm going to do it. Roll me a wisdom check. Wisdom? Yep. Uh, regular check, right? Yep. Uh, do, 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 do. Check. Wisdom. Damn it! I would have had a natural 20. But I rolled a 7. 7? Okay. You see your spell try to take hold to disrupt anything else that's affecting Xbit, but it's just too nebulous. It's too tangled. And Corey, you were going to say something? I was just going to ask or just communicate with my quarry spirit okay, does this look like anything familiar to you? And you do hear this. Cor uh, Corey just does say that out loud. Um, I've never seen anything like it before. Corey, a, a, a little gust of wind comes up bringing an acidic the acid smell to your nose I think it's something with the acid another gust of wind from the top comes down it, it's basically confusing I don't understand I got hit by the acid too, but I'm not. Xpit's other leg is now black. No, 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 no. Uh, Joey, you are silent. Uh huh. Maybe we get them out of cave if cave is what is fucking him up. Something tells me that won't work. We can Plus try we at least. Plus, we still have another problem we need to deal with. Right now, it's, it's the problem. Yeah, that town's also the acid. problem. If the acid's causing the that waterfall, dead. but we don't know where that acid's leaking from, we got to fix that leak first. Alexson's gonna start trying to take uh, Xbit out of the cave. Okay. Miyagi, do you allow that to happen? Yeah. I'll as probably, you probably as you pick it. him up. You can feel his bones, just the slightest bit of pressure, and it, uh, you can feel a bone break. I'm being as careful with him as possible. As you see, his wings are starting to shrivel up. This is your last chance. The hunter, please. 
I'm sorry, my dear. Something much more powerful has a hold of him. So there's nothing? And I'm saying this out loud. I don't know. She's going to keep pushing to get to the exit. If I break my bond with him as my familiar, would that fix him? Do I know that? You don't know. <laughs> There's certain things that could be done, but it's, it's a crapshoot right now. <laughs> Mohammed, oh, please, if you're here, help me, guide me. Alexin, I think I might be able to save him. How? But it will cost me dearly. I what do you mean? It will cost me a lot. So if I am to do this, I am going to give you a task in the future that you must complete without question. Okay. As you say that, you see Ixbit can't hesitate. <laughs> starts to breathe normal and his wings and tail starts to return to the red color. He's still he unconscious. Alex will oh, turn to Miyagi holding him. Next See, all he's, we needed to do was get him out of the cave, and now he's fine. He's still unconscious, but he's not. He It looks like he's sleeping. Oh, so will kind of be avoiding eye contact again. Yeah, we just needed to get him away. Moth and muscular, there's nothing Eris can solve. Thank you. But what, what did it cost? I'm just gonna hand the expert to Miyagi. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Is he, like, unconscious from exhaustion or unconscious from... From exhaustion. Okay, okay. Yeah, he has all his hit points. Okay. Now. Now. Okay. <laughs> so, you still have this starry person with you. <laughs> um, um. Oh, right. This is Corey. As her name is short for. Apparently, oh. she was with a party of her own, and they tried to fight the dragon. Corey was the only one that survived. I'm sorry for your loss. I am Melkson, and this is Miyagi. Okay. Nice to meet you guys. It's okay. I'm sorry about your friend. And Corey, you, you notice. Know getting better. Corey, you notice at this point in time, both from underneath Miyagi's um, collar and Elkson's collar, you see two serpentine-like faces, heads come out. As you see two baby dragons that you both have. <laughs> By the way, I have to ask, did... This situation and Elkson get any worse? Oh, yes. Oh, what happened? I'm going to let you take control of that for your character. Okay. Um, it's up to you. the RP while I think on that. Yeah, it's up to you if it's vis visible or not. Okay. 
Um, you see a blue head come that is nestled by Elkson, and you see another smaller type cat-like cat-like size dragon, um, more red in color on Elkson's other shoulder. And you see a silver head um, from Miyagi. I'm going to say it covers like even more of her face, like it's less veins and more like it's actually covering a chunk of her face now. Okay. Wow. Um, you guys have baby dragons? Uh, yeah, that's a, a new thing, but yeah. Um, Save them from some, um, poachers. Tomb Raiders. This whole time, Meow is cradling it. Okay. And you do hear him. That kitten's. Fresh eyes. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> you just start laughing. Brown in the blood of my enemies. <laughs> I'll just start laughing too. <laughs> okay. Expect the magnificent. <laughs> Seems like so feeling what, better. This is what he dreams about. Yeah, trust me, it takes a bit getting used to. <laughs> this part is very weird. You think? Uh, oh, by the way, yeah. Xpid is an imp. Yeah. <laughs> if you... an imp. <laughs> I'm, my last party was a bit weird, too, so that's okay. I mean, I like have constellations and galaxies on me, so it's not like I'm exactly normal. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over to Corey, like conspiratorially, and be like, "The the backseat screams in the middle of the night about the purple worms. It is very weird." <laughs> well. I don't know what's going on with Alexin's face, but it changes every time I look at her. It does not. That is an exaggeration. <laughs> what are you even talking about? He's whispering. How can you hear? Is Sylvia on my shoulders? Yes. Okay. Uh, Alexin, could you hold me for a second? I'm going to stick. All right. Take off my cloak. Form the Bjorn again. Let's <laughs> stick him in there. <laughs> okay. So, hi, I'm Miyogi. I'm the most powerful member of the party. Um, besides the rest of them, they're pretty powerful in their own right. Oh, by the way, Hondia, what the fuck are those? Oh, what the fuck are those? I'm just gonna, like... Try and be quiet as he's been sleeping. Those are awesome. Tow soup! I want tow soup! Tell him to be quiet and save his energy. He, I think he's sleeping at him rest. I don't want to hear his, his, his talking while we figure out this problem. This problem so... You... What else is there? Wasn't it the dragon? Well, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, as you guys are looking at the acid, you see that it's starting to lose its green tint. Is it becoming more clear water-like? Well, as clear as swamp water can be. But the acidic smell is definitely lowering and lessening. So, knowing what I know about dragons, they keep hordes, right? What do you know about dragons? This is the first dragon you've seen outside of... Mm -hmm. I have those books on dragons. <laughs> so... I can tell you that this dragon has 
all of my former party's shit. Well, maybe for the sake of your party, we should get their stuff and perhaps make a gravesite to them, to honor them. It's what Mordine would want. Okay. To celebrate their lives as they, they were created. Did, did that we would be really nice. Anything to say that we killed a fucking dragon? Oh yeah, look at Ares' hand. Oh. Good. Very nicely done, Ares. Good job. Um, how are you still was- alive? That was acid. That is acid. That was badass. She... Oh. <laughs> Ahead, gonna like offer a fist bump. <laughs> That's very simple, kitty friend. I'm really, really fucking strong. <laughs> well, I think to show Corey we can be trusted because, mm-hmm. well, I don't know what else you're gonna do to be honest. Why don't we at least go find your your party stuff? Well, there's some stuff that might be helpful for you guys. I mean. I will uh, show them my earring. Um, we all had one of these that might be helpful. I mean, obviously, I don't need seven more of them. Um, and so I will show them my uh, earring of message. This is a blue crystal earring that is wrapped in delicate copper wire. Um, that's all you know about it right now. Ooh, that's pretty. What's it do? <clears throat> Corey, you know that it has five charges. While wearing it, you can use an action to expend one charge and cast this message spell. And it regains 1d4 plus one expended charges daily at dawn. It would let everyone communicate with each other. I don't know if you've heard of the message spell. Yeah. But it lets you, this will let you have the ability to cast it. You can do it five times a day. That could definitely spell seems useful. I could spell message more than five times a day. Every's very smart. Uh, I can do that in infinite amounts of times. M E said, yes. See, so, it's already on. That could I mean, be useful. I'm able to do it, but it's nice to not have to, you know. Well, yeah, I don't know that spell. Yes, yeah, so it's nice if you don't. Well, that could oh. be useful. Well, you all can roll investigation checks if you like. I could try. My investigation sucks. <laughs> Can I just mm. pop a detect magic? Bad. 18. 18, okay. Wait for... pop a detect magic. 14. Yeah. Uh, detect magic. You do feel a faint magical aura hidden behind a boulder. I'm going to head over to that boulder. Looking at it, and Ares, you find this at the same time. You see this boulder with massive scratch marks as if this dragon would be moving it with its claw. Turn back, little kitty friend. Let me handle this. And I'm going to go ahead and hold up. The rock. Oh, or I'm holding up. Uh, I think I got this spell. Oh, is it a cantrip, actually? Yes, it's a cantrip. Uh, I'm going to target Ares. And cast Guidance. Guidance! (laughs) Oh, wait, no. Guidance! (laughs) And I'm going to uh, cast Enhance Ability and give him bold strength. So you had advantage on your strength checks, and you can add additional d4. Nice. Eddie's feels infinite cosmic power! <laughs> and what am I doing? I think we need the power of the four. Athletics like, whatever. Okay. I have advantage and I could add a d4? Yep. Yes. Yeah, 
That's going to be a 36. Damn! 36? <laughs> it yeah, takes a 32 it on takes, a second one. It takes a little bit. But it's still too heavy for you to lift, but you do get it rolling. And you move it just enough for everyone to get through. And you see piles and piles of coin and other items. Hell yeah. How many, how many things ping on this detect magic? A few. Well, Would you like to know the gold count first? Yes. Somewhere, yes. somewhere in a foreign land, Sazen's ears are burning. Oh, <laughs> just wait. I mean, we, we could <laughs> message Sazen at any point. There is 16,000 gold pieces. Wow. 2,100 platinum pieces. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm, I'm going to make a note of this. Just that way I know. Yes, I'm please loving, write it down. I'm loving Suzanne's face right now. Or Joey's face. <laughs> there you is a... 2,000 platinum? 2,100 platinum. Yeah. Gotcha. 16,000 gold. Okay. There is a brass mug with a jade inlay. These are all the non-magical stuff, by the way. A carved ivory statuette of a knight in full armor. A gold set, a, go, a gold ring set with bloodstones. A large gold bracelet. Two of them, actually. All of those items are worth 250 gold pieces. You see a pair. This is magical. You see a pair of boiled leather gloves with metal spikes on them. You see six earrings that look exactly the same as the one that Corey is wearing. And then you see some other arms and armor that are non-magical that Corey will advise are her former companions. Yes. I wasn't sure if you were done before I was... I was going to say That's something it. afterwards. That's it. So, so just to double count, just to make sure I have this all written down. 16,000 gold, 21, 2,100 platinum, brass mug with a jade inlay, a carved knight statue, gold rings with bloodstones, um, and a gold bracelet. And then there is a pair of boiled leather gloves with spikes on them. And six earrings. Yep, and I just put that in our Discord channel. Okay. I'm looking at that right now. So, does Corey say that the armor belongs to their party members, or? That's up to Corey. Yeah, I would. I would tell them. All right. Um. The real question is, where do you want to put a site for them? We I could mean, leave it in the lair or just outside of it. I think if there's anything that can be put to use, that's what they would want. For us to use their gear? That this is your party, after all. I know. They wouldn't. They wouldn't want it just left to rot if it could be useful to someone. Hmm. One of the things that you know that's part of your party members was those gloves. You knew that your monk friend wore them and they gave them the ability to strike from a distance. <laughs> so I'll go at a cost. I don't so know if there's what? anyone who could use these, but 
Use what? These gloves. Hmm. Um, there Aries. was a monk in our party, and he was able to punch from a distance wearing these gloves. Aries, come here a second. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> uh, first of all, let me hold the dragon tooth real quick. We'll see if those gloves fit you. I mean, my my hands are very non-glove wearing now, and you know they're a little <laughs> cold from not having the gloves. Uh, I will take. I mean, hands if nobody else wants the gloves. Okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say I I just show him the hammer. Um, I think I'm good personally. <laughs> well, you can look on your character sheet now. They're the cestus, but they do require attunement. Everyone, I just might refresh this. Okay. Hold up. Ooh. Josh was about to say everyone, but I think he's still doing math. I am still doing math. He, everyone should get 5,285 gold. Uh, on the range strike, mm -hmm. ignore the second sentence. Okay. Can you Sorry. repeat that one more time, Josh? 5,285 gold. How much do we get? 5,285. Susanna's crying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't worry, Susanna has gained money too. She got a whole two copper. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and now Meowki can afford to pay Ares. No, Ares just paid himself. <laughs> now we found out how Susanna ended up being the BBEG of this game. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to look at the armor. What, ki what kind of armors are there actually? And um, there are some leather armor. There's a pair uh, of half plate. Uh, again, all of these have been damaged and are pretty much not of use to anybody. Hmm. Let me see something real quick. Were you particularly close to any one specific member, Corey? Um, uh, as player, would I have been? That's completely up to you. <laughs> yeah, you could have a spouse among. That's up to you. Oh. Um. Well, my best friend. What about your best friend? If you do not wish to say, I understand. But. I would feel wrong taking gear that belonged to anyone you were close to. Oh, no. It's fine. I mean, I wouldn't have offered if, if, you know, if I didn't mean it. It's, it would actually be an honor to have their things in use, you know? That is understandable. I mean, despite the damage, hmm, you know, I do have an idea. I would need tools, however. I could potentially fix some of this. After all, I am a child of the forge. You're welcome to anything that you will be helpful to you. Honestly. Question. Yes. These earrings with the with the with the message that you have to spell, uh, do they have to be worn on the ear? No. I have piercings in other places than ear that <laughs> this would work. <laughs> and the uh. earrings do not require <laughs> attunement. So I shall also take an earring. And you know what? I think it'll be funny. 
I'll put it on my horn. Yep. You guys can search for the Earring of Message on D&D Beyond and add them to your character sheet. Ares, are you going to attune to your new weapon? Uh, yes. How long does it take to attune? Uh, about an hour. What are you unattuned from? I will go ahead and unattune from... As cool as it is, I'm going to take off the Scarab of Protection for now. Really? Um, well, now that you said that, that seems like a bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> uh, what was that's it called a, again? That's fine. So I can, Go for it. So I can search it up. Earring of Message. Go ahead, take uh, unattuned from the scarab. That's fine. I mean, I'm not throwing it away. <laughs> I mean, basically. <laughs> well, then, let me read it again. I'm going to drop my yeah, sorry now. form while we're just sitting around talking, also. Alrighty. There's no need to have it at the moment. And then let's go ahead and do that. So, Corey, how did you learn how to do that? <sighs> My people have been studying the stars for a long time, and we're trying to figure out what what's changed, what's different. It's something strange is happening. I don't know if you've noticed. It depends if you pay a lot of attention to the stars or not, but... There's... I mean, we've been a bit preoccupied with a lot of strange things <laughs> happening to us. Yeah, I imagine. It's, we've been... My people have learned the ways of the stars, and just within the last month, like, I had a big spike in my powers that I didn't have before, so... Really? Which is pretty awesome, but I don't know why. And so... We're out trying to figure out, well, we were trying to figure out, like, what happened to the stars, why things are different. It's, you know, our circle was a lot larger, but it's pretty small now. Circle? Are you druidic then? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Alex and I'll druid craft a little flower. <laughs> Me too. Awesome. What circle are you with? A uh, circle of the moon. Oh, awesome. Circle of the stars. So we both have to night sky. <laughs> yep. I would like Not anybody to... Of us, but... I would like mm -hmm. any of the original party to roll a history check. So that would be... <laughs> I was going to say, was that around the time we fucked things up? <laughs> nope. Meow and Alexa, yep. I'm not helpful here. Okay. You guys, look at these grunts. They are so awesome. I, I hold them like this, and I do, I do a one, two, three. Six, one, two, three. A couple, uh, the timeline that she gave you, it's exactly when you got purged. Kind of what I figured. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Ares, that damage that you do is force damage on the range. Nice. Aha. I will clear up the wording and all that. That was done, you know, last minute. That's fine. So... The gloves look great on you, Ares. Thank you, thank you. I know they come at cost of your dear friends, so I promise I will respect them, but watch, watch, watch. Uppercuts. <laughs> and you see a piece of rock 30 feet away <laughs> blows up. I'm very honored that you will get use out of them. I'm happy that you can that you can put them to use. <laughs> so I guess I'll grab one of Corey's friend's set of armor. Uh, mm -hmm. You said there was leathers, half plates, and whatnot, right? Right. How many armor sets are there? A uh, total of six. All right, I'm going to roll a d6 real quick, and whatever I get, I'll just take that armor set. Because I might be encumbered if I take all of them. <laughs> if this d6 would load on D&D Beyond. Thank you. Number six. Half plate. Okay, I'll take the half plate set. 
Uh, are we taking everything? Sorry, I've been counting coin. Well, the I the was... armor set is useless. They are not it. They're too damaged to be worn or even repaired. Still, any sort of good luck charm would be useful. Hunter, and having a piece of your past is not a bad thing. Hunter, do you want all the, all the armor? I can put it in my bag real fast. That may work. This way, we can keep a piece of Corey's friends with us. Find a way to honor them. Exactly. That's really sweet. I appreciate it. It's totally of unnecessary, course. but it's, it is appreciated. And please continue RP. For... I need to go take care of something really quick. You wish for us to use these. And while they may not be useful as of yet, a simple piece of holding them is enough for a lot. You never forget where you were forged from or the friend group you were associated with. It's very true. As I give me out, here you go, Miyagi. I do not know if any of your friends were also children of Morndine, but I'm sure he would have blessed them all the same. So, uh, oh yes, um, I suppose I own some. Want to talk because uh, you're rocking some pretty new shit, and and I'm just gonna like I'm gonna like bump uh elbows with on you. You had to seen, didn't you? I knew, I knew it. I told you. I told you. I told Miyagi. you. Miyagi. That's my name. While, Don't wear it out. While me and Elkson were blinded by whatever happened here, I didn't know what to do. I called upon my lord for help. The next thing I know, I was in his halls. He was there. He says I am not tempered enough to join the halls, but he wants me to keep going. A part of him is inside me after all. Guess Father Anderson wasn't exactly lying about that. And then, well, you saw what happened to my weapon, didn't you? The spiritual weapon? I was kind of focused on writhing an acid. But I do see a new shield and hammer, so I think that's new. He... Morden forged my spiritual weapon into these. Watch this, That's for example. I, lo I look at a nearby wall. I'm going to throw my hammer there and make it come back. Holy shit, the cleric's got range. <laughs> Not a lot of range, mind you, the but... The cleric and the barbarian have range now. <laughs> it also... When I was healing Ares earlier, it affected my healing powers. It seems that whenever I heal someone, I heal myself. That's useful. It is different, to say the least. But it's a reward for thinking of others. For not giving up your faith in them. And congratulations for getting the first exalted vestige. Thank you, first of all. Um, <laughs> I am proud to still be a child of Morden, even if what you guys were saying messed with me for a while. Uh, Perhaps uh, that was just all a test, after all. I was with you, and I was telling you, no, they're real, they're they're just, they're gone, now they're back. But no one listens to Same me. Same here, Suzanne was the only one who was saying that they weren't. Even so. By the way, who, who has that, uh, that message, that scroll thing? That way That'd be me. Talk? I never gave it to me, Algie. Uh, we weren't allowed to have it. <laughs> Corey, you are overhearing this talk about the gods, and they're not real, and... Just so you know. Uh, is there a reason you're staring at us? I mean, we are pretty fashionable. I mean, we do have the strong man over in the corner. Um, 
at this point, I turn around. And I'm like, there we go. Earring equipped. And you don't see the earring anywhere on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, um, I would... I would totally get it, because now that she has dropped her starry form, if you are anywhere near, you can see that she's covered in dermal piercings with, like, little diamonds and constellation shapes all over her mm. arms and her torso and chest. And mm. you can tell that some of them have been moved, like there are little scars where some used to be that aren't any longer, and some that you can tell are probably more newly pierced. So she's like a walking star map. Even when she's not in starry form. That's so cool. <laughs> How I track the sky. It's a lot easier. I have it on the scroll, but it's a lot easier if I can just look down and have them with me all the time and I don't have to worry about losing well, the scroll. Wait, so they move? If I move them, yeah. Oh, okay. Where That's where they cool. move, then I will arrange them accordingly. Seems like a lot uh, of work. Josh, are you taking anything else, by the way? Uh, From the probably. I mean, besides I, the... Uh, Stuff worth uh, gold, I'll probably like just use that as barter stuff. But unless you want anything yeah. specific, just ask. No, I was gonna say because Hondir was about to say as he looks at the dragon horn that he got from Ares. Well, we should probably head back to the Magi, and I look to Ux and get that person of yours out of that now. Oh, did I forget the book that's in the horde as well? There's a book. There's a book. Yeah, there's, there's a, a book. book. <laughs> yes, there's a book. Those yes. rings weren't I her away. The, the rings weren't magical, right? I want the book. I want the book. I want the book. I don't were the rings magical, know. DM? Was that, uh, Heidi no. was asking? They were, just, they were just plain, right? Yep, just plain rings. Um, okay. Um, I wonder if they were from my friend. They pro quite possibly would. The right. book is in your I inventory. Would, I would like foundry. the rings if, if possible. I would say go for it. And I will put them on and just kind of look at them for a while and calm down, Josh. <laughs> Josh is going nuts right now. <laughs> Josh is like, which book? If oh, you look in my inventory. In my inventory. Yep. In my inventory. One second. I, I love books. Uh, the real D&D &D is, in the, is in the top left corner, folks, of your cameras. <gasps> Go ahead and explain the book. <laughs> Meow <-key? laughs> An exploration of primordial evocation magic. This tome is warm to the touch, its edges slightly burnt, and the smell of smoke can be faintly observed when open. Although most of the text has been rendered unreadable, its successful archon and check. Roll it. 15. <laughs> I'll give you guidance. You got to add that D4, Josh. You got guidance. Yep, 14. You got it. Well, you get it because of the guidance. Does this count as a short restful? Does this count as a Did short make restful? It? He made it because of the guidance. Yep, okay. Let's go. Because... Yes, I short. I had one wheel left, so I would have burned it. If... <laughs> so, a success. Trolls. <laughs> because of the successful Arcana check. Vitriolic Spear and Immolation. And yes, this is a short rest, people. Yay. Okay. I'll, I'll put it on the D&D Beyond sheet for Hondir real quick. And there's another book that is locked. Mm. 
Did did my magic pick anything up? My detect magic? Nope, not on this book. Uh, does it have anything on the cover? Nondescript. It's been destroyed by the ravages of time. In other words, I'll get the book to you later. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. What's the new one? Immolation and vitriolic spear. Okay. Well, there's scrolls right now. You still have to pay to get them into your spell book. Yep. Or you can just use the scrolls. Now, if you transcribe them into your spell book, the scrolls are destroyed. Yep. Okay. Well. What level are the scrolls? Are they just base base level of the spells? Base level. Gotcha. gotcha. So right. now that well, we didn't take the platinum, so I'm gonna assume we can leave the platinum here in case anyone else needs it. Oh, <laughs> as Hondir says that Miyagi's scooping platinum into the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Miyagi, Miyagi, that that dead. Can you can, can you hand me some platinum? I wish to make an offering to Mordine for our fallen lizard friend. Yeah, everybody forgot about him. Oh, we didn't forget. We never cared to begin with. It's a shame he had a badass bow. Uh, that got disintegrated for what I got back turned to normal anyway, bud. I just split everything up into gold, so I'm going to have to do some math real fast. 2100, <laughs> and you're dividing it by five, right? Well, no, he, uh, he made everything gold, and then he divided yeah. it. Yeah, that's what I did. Okay. I can use the gold, then. No big deal. Okay. Uh, I shall go over to the lake that, first of all, I'll be like, excuse me, folks, for a second. I'm going to go to the lake where I saw, what was his name, Saxon? Uh, Saxon. Saxon. Zach, with a Z. Zach. Oh, Zaxon. I'm going to take out 11 of the gold. Say a quick prayer to Morton Dean uh, for thanking him for having Zaxon help us to the best of his abilities and to watch over him in the life forge and then drop it into the water. As you see, the last bit of the acidic nature starts to eat away at the coins. And these coins, you look at them and they look very odd. Some of them do. Some of them are extremely old. Also, Corey, I sent you a link to the uh, campaign. So you could add your character to that. Awesome. So upon seeing that look, can I make an investigation check on another coin that looks that, like that? Sure. Uh, what are you trying? Investigation, yeah. What are you trying to ascertain? Well, would it be a history or investigation? Either way, it's a plus one to see like if I can tell how old they are or anything. Uh, you can do a history check, definitely. Okay. Uh, history. Eleven. They're from some civilization you don't know of. A, a few of them are different. They have different signs on them. Some of them look like jungle, uh, a jungle on them. One looks like a sun. Another one looks um, like a five-headed dragon. This is peculiar. Hmm. Hopefully, shops will accept these coins despite the different looks. That may be a problem. As I'm then going to go back to the others. Do you guys think there's other caves with coins like this? Well, who knows? But priorities first, Ares. As I hold we up that dragon horn. We're here to save that one. Yes, we have proof of the creature that was causing the problems. We give this to the Magi. I'm sure he'll believe us. So, good thinking, Ares. That was very smart. That was 
going to use it as trophy on my neck, but yeah, yeah, totally use it to prove uh, prove a great. I mean, to be fair, Ares, if we didn't do, do it, then that girl might still be in trouble. No, so. I, I completely understand. You see it here. So, <laughs> shall we get moving? Let's get back to town. Wait a second, hold up. Yeah, your piercing Corey, got caught you on something. <laughs> Corey, yes. do you wish to travel with us for now? I know you don't have your friends anymore, but you are welcome to join us for a little bit. We are a handful. Oh, yeah, oh, and I'm sorry if I scream in the middle of the night. Elkson, oh. despite this handful, not one material should be left alone. All material should be welcomed. I'm not saying she wouldn't be welcomed. I'm just saying that Joining us up with us is getting yourself in for a lot. Uh, Any adventure is a lot. You just got to make yeah. the most of it. Well, my, I, I would be honored to join you. And my previous party was not without its own quirks as well. And I myself have my own quirks, so I mean, clearly. Well, not everyone puts, you know, jewelry all over their entire body, but, you know. I mean, to be fair, one of us is a strong man from a carnival, for example. Me. <laughs> one of us is a life-born acolyte of a god that they believe in. Some of us are still questioning what our true intentions are, as I gestured to Elkson. And, and some of us look down at the ground again. And some of us are learning our true potential too. And also have voices in our heads. And you'll see Corey go. I think we're going to go with these guys. <laughs> Seems like you also got someone looking down on you too. Uh, you could. You don't have to say that. Um, you don't have to explain yourself now if you don't want to. Not so much looking down on me as <laughs> part of me. Bonded ah. with me. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> so. We should return to town, get some drinks, and we could all talk about weird voices and heads, yes? <laughs> town, Magi House, then drinks. After we get the girl. Well, well speaking of good. which, the travel back into town is quite lengthy, and you guys are pretty damn exhausted now. Do you want to take a long rest? Well, I imagine we could at least try to travel back to the cabin. The cabin where the dragon was? And the trolls? Yeah, he's dead now. And the trolls all over the place? We have to go through it anyway, still. Uh, I'm... This is the DM saying, I mean, you might want to take a long rest. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Uh, I mean, this does seem like it's become kind of safe since... Hiding in a horde sounds gone. like a fun sleeping spot. I mean, I don't think many other people are... Anybody who knows the dragon is here doesn't know the dragon is dead, so... That's true. And plus, if we rest here, we can take a look at the water when we wake up and see how it's looking. Alright. Miyagi, will you take first watch with me? Yeah. Uh, of course. Alright. First watch. Roll your perception checks. Perception. That is a 17. That's a okay. 14. Alright. Miyagi, I, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything to help you when you were falling. Don't, don't worry about it. I mean, we all but almost just, could have died. What matters is that everyone. I didn't everyone have anything. Still here. I didn't have anything prepared. I couldn't turn in anything that would help you. And because of that, Ixbit went in to help you. And 
that happen to him? I... I had stuff prepared. I was... I was fine. If there's one thing I've learned, it's how to get myself out of danger. <laughs> so I was fine. Don't beat yourself up about it, because... You You're almost fine. died too, and... Eh. You saved it, but... Whatever the cost was... And I... as soon as he says that, his his face changes from like, like sort of naive, sort of like, oh yeah, everything's fine too. You fucked up, and I know you did. <laughs> I um, Leandra said that she could help, but it would take a lot out of her, so I would have to do her a favor in the future without asking any questions. Is that the person you want to be? I... <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to tell you what you can and can't do. It's not like I... <laughs> Kyra reached out multiple times trying to persuade me. Bahamut was silent. Silence. Silent. There we go. Silent. I almost lost him, so in a way, I do appreciate you and Leandra's deal, whatever it may be. I'm not trying to be a bad person, I'm just trying to protect the people I care about. And while I may not like Ixbit at all, you really care about him. Of course I'm gonna care about him. I care about you too. That doesn't mean we have to make deals with every demon or every fiend it's or not every... every... It's the same one! <laughs> I'm just teasing you. You're not mad at me? No, I'm grateful. But... If you're taking care of everyone else... You can't take care of yourself, and sometimes you have to take care of yourself. So just be a bit more cautious before you decide to jump headfirst into battle, <laughs> or jump through I... slimes and cubes and make... Well, I can't cubes. really, because, you know, the whole, I gave up my hesitancy in the Feywild, Oh, so is that why you're into me? Is that why you're interested? You no, 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 no. I liked you before that. That was acting on it. I got you. <laughs> Pink. <laughs> Shut up. You just nudges them. And that concludes your all's watch. Next watch. I'll take it. Go and roll perception check. I'll go with. Okay. No, no, the two new people are just going to track trash talk the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fourteen on perception. Okay. God dang it, phone! Stop falling. Twenty-one. All right. Nothing of note. Is there any conversation you would like to have? So now that we are away from mothers, what do you think of group? I think everybody seems very nice so far. Very close knit. Absolutely, I get I get close knitness from them, but uh, I get some I get some weird readings. Like I think the I think the kitty is into the dragon. And the dragon is all like, I have no hesitation, I do what I want. But then, you know, the kitty tries to talk to the dragon, and the dragon's like, oh no, I make weird do deals with demons, and now I have strange eye. And the cat is like, you know, I, I love you despite your eye, but then the dragon is like, no, no, everybody's in danger. It's, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. And then you have, you have the holy, the holy, you know, dear person who's like, I question my faith. I question my faith. I, I see miracles, but I question everything. It's it's a headache. I I, I need the rest. 
that's a lot. Um, but they are fearless and they are brave mm-hmm. and they have not said no to any task that has been presented to them, even though they should because they're not very strong. <laughs> Well, I mean, first impressions can be deceiving, but so far it seems like everyone is trying to do the right thing and they take care of each other and look out for each other. I really respect that. Was it like, what happens. Was it like that with your previous party? Were you all close? Um... Some of us were closer than others. Some just kind of, we picked up along the way, you know, Um, kind of like how this group has picked me up now, you know, some of us were together longer. One was my best friend. Um, There aren't very many of my circle left. So it's always hard when we lose some, but you know, I have my, I have my mission and I will stick to it. What about yourself? You left a circus? Uh, yes, I, re- I left the, uh, the witch like carnival, uh, between you and me, I've never actually been part of a uh, adventuring party before. I've actually never left the circus, so this is all very new to me. Um, oh wow! It's, it's it's all very exciting and and very like there's lots of danger everywhere, um, especially around the kitty. Like I was told to protect the kitty, but the kitty always throws himself in danger. It's like kitty, stay back. You're a sorcerer, not a not a fighter. But. Uh, but it's practice. I, uh, between you and me, I am actually looking to travel to Krokosha in the northern part of Jerusalem to partake in UFT, Ultimate Fighting Tournament. My goal is to be champion. That's awesome. There's lots of fierce competition, so I need all the experience I can get. Well, you helped kill a dragon. I mean, that's pretty impressive. I would think that not anybody else in that competition would have gotten that experience, seeing as dragons are pretty, like, new and unusual, so... This is what I'm hearing, but I'm a little bit confused, because they say, oh, there's no dragons, there's no dragons, and but what are dragonborn? Aren't they just, like, little mini dragons? I don't... I don't get it. Yeah, some things are pretty complicated. I like you. You have good head and your Well, I have been out adventuring for quite some time. So, you kind of pick some things up along the way. What I will tell you, as long as you are with Ares, Ares will make sure you are safe. Well... As long as you're with Corey, Corey will make sure that Ares is safe. And that completes your watch. And Ares is going to have a brain aneurysm because now I have more lore I have to write. <laughs> <laughs> and for the final watch, Hondir, roll your perception check. Okay. Uh, skills to do perception. Six. During your watch, nothing occurs. <laughs> now, while you all are sleeping, Meowgi. You disappoint. I am thankful your siblings are not as worthless as you. And y'all get a level. Whoa! <laughs> nice. 
Nice. So, and that will conclude our game for tonight. Ah, oh, next week's going to be fun. So we will end our session Corey. how we end all of our sessions with bitches, gripes, complaints, comments, questions answered, starting with the double Ds. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, started talking. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the, the, the muscles. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> nope. <laughs> now we go in camera order, guys. Remember? Uh, I'll go ahead and tell Damien what, what I said, Damien. <laughs> Doing his bitches, gripes, comments, question, concerns thing, and he said starting with the double D's. <laughs> um. But it was <laughs> it was a fun session. I'm excited for the level up. Um, yeah, I, I feel like the choice of which class is kind of obvious based on what happened. Um, that's not going to have any consequences whatsoever. <laughs> this no hesitation thing is fun. Oh yeah, it'll be very fun with the task because I already know what I'm going to have you do. Oh god. <laughs> All right, next we're going to have the other double Ds. Uh, this was awesome. I, uh, I, loved, I loved playing as a character where I could just be like, fuck you, damage, I do what I want. <laughs> 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 right? um, but this was really cool. I really liked the dynamics and the fact that everybody got a little chance to shine here. I thought it was great. Mm -hmm. um, on our Divine Intervention Boy. That was quite a shock at the start that yeah. of what exactly I got, honestly. It's something that takes some getting used to, and I think Han, Deer, and Corey are getting along pretty well so far. Oh, yeah, and definitely. That was, a, that was a really interesting tough fight, though. It's definitely a, a very tough fight. I honestly thought I was going to kill at least one of you today. Um, I mean, you did, I but mean, not the main crew. Well, yeah, but I mean, I was also using that as a warning because... Other dragon fights, yeah, they're gonna pick you up and they're just gonna fucking drop you. <laughs> you know? Not much you can do with that. And last but not least, we have daddy issues. Yeah. <laughs> you, you picked up the wrong person. I have Featherfall. I knew it going in. I've had that shit prepared uh, since we started. I'm like, I'm picking <laughs> this spell. I'm gonna have it. I know. I like, I've literally had it prepared since session one. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna fall from something, and I finally got to use it. So, but, yeah, you have siblings. That's, yep. That's interesting. <laughs> yep. Now, now, I, I hey, I get a new spell, yay. <sighs> I'll wait. I, I want to ask you something. Okay. I'll wait. I'll wait. So, uh, we're going to raid a channel here real quick. And I think we're going... I, I had somebody else... I had somebody in mind. But I think we're going to go to the Game Fox TV. Because it's been a while since we've raided them. So, they're doing Tiny, t tiny Tina's now. So, let's Ooh. go ahead. The, the tabletop or the actual game? Uh, looks like uh, the game, Tiny Tina's Wonderland. It is so much fun. I've beaten my first playthrough already. It is oh, nice. a lot of fun. I have not played it yet. So thank it, you for everybody good. who came to watch. Um, hopefully you're enjoying the story. Come in, uh, tune in next week, and we will find some more answers, and Miyagi will discover what's in the nondescript book. See y'all. As we are waiting, we are waiting, we are waiting, almost ready. Do, 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 and here it goes. See ya. Bye. You know I'm a slut for war. I know. You know I'm, I'm so excited. I'm like, <laughs> it's just. <laughs> I like, no, I like, I like reading. I like, it's so cool. <laughs> Hey, we're getting the raid for uh, Nightsfall. So, I just letting y'all know, Nightsfall, please. player talk, I split that, split that gold seven ways. Um, Saving Sempher Suzanne? I am, um, yeah. 
You know, I thought about doing a message thing for it to send to set up a, a thing, but eh, whatever. I was, I, if, if, if Miyogi and Hondir got that, uh, like, got that, uh, like, alone time, I was gonna use that scroll or whatever it is to message to Zen and be like, I got you a present. <laughs> That's literally well, to be fair, I think Alexon would have asked for a time with you first anyway. Yeah. Hondi would have been like, okay, I'm gonna go to bed. I got hurt badly. But we do have a party fund, too.